okay so let's take a look at how to install sqlite 3 and sqlite browser on ubuntu so first thing is we can look at snapcraft for sqlite right so if it's there we can use that or we can simply use apt method as well so let's see here see you have sqlite browser right so basically currently this seems to be the only package that we can get from here so let's move to terminal and here we'll try and get both these packages which is sqlite 3 and sqlite browser so first thing as usual sudo snap update you have to put in the password then everything will go through the checks and it will ask you to upgrade if required otherwise it will just release so so do apt upgrade if there is any so there does not seem to be okay so there is so there are a lot of packages i will just say yes and come back to it once it releases me from that right so let it download for a while and after that we will move on to our sqlite 3 package okay once the upgrade is complete we can clear this now let's type in sudo apt install sqlite 3 hit enter and you can now see the packages that will be installed right so now that we have package installed we'll also go ahead and type in sudo apt install sqlite browser right so the second package that we can see is 2 it's a bit bigger package and we can verify the installation of both these packages so let it finish the installation and once it releases the prompt we can clear this and then what we can do is we can type in sqlite 3 then double dash version and here see it is showing you the version 3.37 right so let's clear and now what we can do is we will show the application that is installed here see so sqlite browser which is to be browser for sqlite click on it and it should look something like this now you can create a new database add your tables add your data and then save it and then use open database the next time you wish to work on that database so now this was installation of sqlite 3 and sqlite browser